What's up everybody, Alex here, and welcome to a match of Dota Underlord Standard. Alright, what are we going to start with? We're starting with our Druids. Of course we are. Two Druids to start. I will happily take that, and we're going to take Chaos Knight. Here we go. I like this start already. We doing, are we doing, alright, we going to force some Knights and uh, Druids? What, or what? What are we doing here? Nah, we're not going to do that. That's just silly. Let's not do that. You know what? Um, let's... I like this setup here because I like I like the early cast from Enchantress, provided we're not against an axe. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, it might be a quick toss by Tiny. Uh oh. Enchantress is gonna get tossed by Tiny. Nope, not what I expected. There's the healing cast. Boom. Quick win. That's what I'm, uh, I'm all about, guys. Alright, not bad. Not a bad start. I do like the units that we have. I'll take the Shadow Demon just in case. Shadow Demon's great in the early game. There's a few units that really shine in the early game, like Crystal Maiden, uh, Shadow Demon, Nyx Assassin because of his uh, burst out. Burst damage on uh, initial uh, targets. We're going to go Voidstone because Voidstone is just simply valuable. What I can do is because I have Voidstone, I can do this now. We'll do this. Let's see what we get. Round two, guys. Let's see it. Another Shadow Demon. A Bat Rider. Uh-oh. Am I going Knights or what? Hmm. Hmm. Whoops. I'm such a noob. Wow, I can't believe I did that. Oh, my God. Let me have her in the chat. I totally... Totally messed up which round we were on. Oh my gosh. The shame. So sad. So sad. We might still be okay here. I'm like, you know what? I want to see if I can win streak. Let me just throw the first round. Let me just waste five gold for no reason. Oh boy. <laughs> it's a good thing I love you, Dota Underlords, or else I'd be really sad right now. Watch this. Shadow Demon in the shop. Shadow Demon in the shop. No. No Shadow Demon. Okay, I don't feel as bad. Okay, hold on. I like Nyx. Hmm. Earth Spirit has been uh, recently buffed as well, so let's, let's, hold, let's hold on to these guys here. Let's see what we get. Sorry, Earth Spirit. We're going to go Witch Doctor here. Knights and Trolls is such a classic. Oh, look at this guy's going Knights and Trolls too. You gotta be kidding me! Since when is Knights and con uh, and uh, Trolls contested? What a joke! What I'm interested in, to be honest with you, is not necessarily Knights and Trolls. I'm interested in the four troll open. I think that's particularly effective. But since we got uh, an early start with two druids, I'll happily take those two druids. There's more coin to be made, is there? Question is, Enchantress or Witch Doctor? I'm actually going to do Witch Doctor here. Chaos Knight and Abba. Hmm. There we go. Should have had him on the other side, I think, but it's okay. It's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal, guys. There we go. Got some stun action going. I love me the Witch Doctor. Another stun. Excellent. Oh, the stun. Keep Abba up. Get the cast. Oh, he's so close to casting. I know it's not totally necessary, but I'm all about uh, I'm all about maximizing the amount of damage we do, right? Lycan, not gonna run Lycan right now. I kind of wish I'd taken the earlier maiden. Was there an early maiden? I don't remember. Here we go, another Earth Spirit. There's a Shadow. That would have been an easy three star. We're gonna maintain our economy here. I'm not gonna reroll as much as I would like to refresh the shop here because we'd be blacklisting this entire crew. I might actually, actually, I'm probably going to blacklist as soon as the round starts. I think that if you have five units that you don't need, blacklisting uh, those five is super valuable. So we locked in our one additional interest, so this refresh only really costs us one gold. I will take that Witch Doctor. 
Keep the trolls on the left. You can't even see the witch doctor there, can you? But he's behind me. He's there. He's hiding. You see him, guys? He's there. I'm in the way, though. It's okay. Here we go. Let's get that win streak going. And Trian recently got nerfed a little bit. Kind of makes me sad. But uh, Trian definitely did need to get nerfed. If I can, I will actually put Treant in. I'll take Enchantress out. Because Treant definitely benefits uh, the Knights. Because uh, up in the front line, he'll be providing some additional healing for Knights. So totally want Treant in there if I can. Io is always interesting. Uh, if you guys... Oh, talking about Io, guys. So, if you did not get a chance... Uh, Stonehall Pike, absolutely uh, mandatory. So, if you did not get a chance, I posted a video... Um, recently about uh, Knockout. And I called it the most epic game of Knockout I've ever played. And I know that sounds like super clickbaity, but I'm telling you right now, it was hands down the most epic game of Knockout I had ever played. It was ridiculous. I'm going to put a little exclamation mark at the top so you can watch it if you'd like. But honestly, guys, it shows how absolutely unbelievable Io can be. Um, he did this interaction with Bristleback that was absolutely ridiculous. You got to watch the video. I'm not just, you know, I'm not over exaggerating. It was one of the most ridiculously epic games I've ever had in Dota Underlords. Um, so I was always interesting, but um, for some reason, I've never quite been a fan of Io. I like him in principle, him, her, I don't know, but um, it's a Wisp. I don't know what a Wisp is, but the problem with Io is that. Um, if you're running four druids, like Treant's better, Enchantress is better than Io, I think, honestly. And um, obviously Shadow Shaman is uh, is amazing in the early game, especially. Theoretically, you can remove Shadow Shaman, I think, for Io, but um, it all depends on what composition you're running too, right? It breaks my heart to not pick up Sniper because I'm seeing... No, I was just thought, no one's even going... Scrappies. This is an uncontested Scrappy game. How is it possible that I'm running Trolls and Knights and someone else is running Trolls and Knights and yet Scrappies is totally uncontested? How does that happen? Unbelievable. It actually frustrates me. It's alright. So I'm not even I'm not even running right now the uh, the additional Druid for the level up. I'd rather have the uh, I'd rather have the Trolls out there right now. Not a big deal because uh, because thanks to the Abaddon and the two-star uh, Chaos Knight, we're getting some carrying done. Ideally, what I'd like to do is push to uh, push to level five this next round here. Oh come on, this is getting dangerously close. I do want a win streak if if possible here. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna put her on there. I would like Treant if possible. Come on! Oh, that's great timing. Look at that. That worked out splendidly. Absolutely splendidly. Alright, trolls over there. I'm gonna stick here. I'm not going to uh, re-roll at this point in time because of the two, ench uh, the two enchantresses there. It's not worth blacklisting three units. Plus, it's gonna cost us uh, two interest. I don't want that. We want to maintain our win streak here. This should be a relatively straightforward win. Also, aggra uh, aggravating the whole situation is the fact that we have someone else running knights. So it's very important that we manage our economy, re-roll when we can, because I need to outvalue him with regards to knights. Um, come on, get get another heal up, Enchantress. No, get Clockwork down. Are you kidding me? And the queen? So we ruined our, our win streak here. I thought we were going to get a relatively easy win there, but the, that did not work well. Not at all. That is when something like uh, Deadeye is super valuable. That was a loss that uh, I really did not want to take. So who are we against here? So Darkness is the one who's running Trolls and Knights as well. So he is, see, he's stalking these Trolls. The nice thing about these Trolls is that they're they're low tier, right? So there's going to be a lot of them on the board. Uh, we haven't pulled our Dazzle yet, but he's going after Abaddon. He has one Chaos Knight. So we actually have a lot more value than he does right now. Especially since we just pulled another Abba. Let's take the reroll here. Lone Druid. And Dazzle. And Sven. It's been a while since I've set foot in the city. No. Some of you need to start pulling your weight. Okay, hold on, I'm thinking here. Now Sven with like a butterfly or something is a really cool unit. Um 
So he, he kind of goes a little underappreciated, but he's also like, he's one of those carries that either like wins you the game outright or just does absolutely nothing. Slark is very similar to that too. Super item dependent. Sven is exactly that. Um, I'm not taking him off for either of the units we have there right now. Um, it's not worth it. We need to be a higher level. I don't want to sell off Sven yet though, because I know we're contested right now. Now I can get four trolls on the board, but they're uh, they're low armor here. Um, healing support's interesting. I think I'm gonna think about going healing support here. Healing tank. Okay, we're gonna go healing support in Essex. That choice is being made simply because if we're going knights, we have multiple heroes, especially if we can get dazzle on the board. Slark early is interesting, but not for this build. We could go an additional healer, but when we get Omni Knight, we're going to have the additional healer on the board. Um, do I sell off Shadow Shaman? Do I give up going four trolls? Go two trolls. These two druids. Now, he's not costing me too much right now, so uh, holding on to Sven costs me two interest there. One interest. It's not too crazy yet, because I think that we have a good board right now. So this guy's win streaking, so theoretically he's, he's getting work done right now. Let's see how we manage. So he's getting entangled by the bear, which is such a beautiful sight. Our golem is doing work. That queen... Oh, oh, we're in range of the queen, unfortunately. Come on, take Jewel down. Joel, sorry, it's Joel. Take Joel down, and we did. Okay, good. Thank you. I don't want anyone here. So let's get our economy back up. Everyone's more or less running a, a, an economy right now, an economy game. Where's Darkness again? We need to keep an eye on him. He's kind of... This is like the most annoying thing, like when you're looking at other... Arcane Boots is not crazy, but you got to take Pike given the opportunity, right? So Pike here. Who else can use Pike? I guess Abba right now. Ideally, we're running Pike with someone like Dragonite. So there's Omni. Omni goes in for him. Now we just have no trolls on the board. And we're short one healer. But there's no other option. Like, there's no... We don't, we don't change anyone out right now. Let's show them who they're dealing with. Are we gonna go six knight or do I get we go four knight, get rid of troll uh, bat rider? I'm thinking here, I'm I'm trying like I'm Hmm. I'm trying to be responsive to this game here, try and uh come up with a uh a build that makes sense based on the situation we're being put in here because it was kind of un unpredictable. Now we're absolutely crushing this guy. Which is beautiful. It's exactly what I like to see. I like to maximize the amount of damage I'm dealing. Because I want to win this game. That's what I'm after here. I want to maximize the amount of damage I'm doing. So every single point of damage, I want to knock these guys out if possible. Um, we're going to continue to level up. Because I want to increase... Uh, I want to get to the Dragon Knight. 5% uh, chance is not good enough for me. We actually haven't seen a Viper yet either. But if I see Dragon Knight, is he the next unit in? I don't think he is. One experience point away we need to adapt All right. that's what we do did I get it no that's not what I wanted oh rest in peace positioning I want Sven on there because also if Sven can start getting some kills that would be beneficial from a uh a Stonehall Pike standpoint. Let's go, let's go, let's do the work. Good stun there. Oh, Sven, wakey wakey, you're a chicken. Alright, not bad. Still got the win going. We're still win streaking. We're in a commanding position here. It was worth spending that uh, that gold there. I'm still running a bench because I am so undecided as to what I'm going to do. Dazzle Lone Druid. Just thinking here. I have four trolls, all of which are on the bench. I'm one away from a healing alliance. So we do need to level up.
I don't think... I'm just thinking, do I run Healer Alliance? Or do I get rid of... Uh, do I get rid of Enchantress to add in Treant? Just forget about the Healer Alliance altogether. Is Treant contested right now? Just ever so slightly. Treant's better than all of them. Enchantress already two star, which forces the uh, the Lone Druid at two star. I can't get rid of her yet, but I think I'm gonna continue running this wide bench while I think. I think that I take Enchantress out and I put Treant in. Put Treant up front. This is ridiculous. Alex, you've got to come to a decision. Okay, we're not going to do trolls. Do I go Io on Sven instead of Troll Shaman? Okay, we sell, we sell Troll Shaman too. Alright, we're going two trolls max. I would like to maintain the uh, possibility for healing alliance. And I want Tree and Protector and Io if possible, because then we can go four Druids. Which will maintain our win streak because of the uh, the benefit of... Oh, Queen of Pain's doing work. It's not going to be enough, but Queen of Pain's doing work for sure. Alright, we're in a commanding position here. How's Darkness doing here? So... Oh, it's so annoying. Are you done yet? Are you done? I, I just want to see your comp. <laughs> Legion Commander, no thank you. Ooh, Necrophos. Necrophos. Lose Dazzle, go Necrophos. Level, Necrophos in. Ready our forces. Okay. Here it is. That's my move. That's my power move. Necrophos in. Ooh, big heal for the bear over there. Oh, this guy might have us. He's got a pretty good comp going right now. I like it. I like his comp, but can we sustain with the amount of healing we're doing? Now that we got the uh, the healing going, 30% amplified. That's no joke, especially with healing, uh, healing in Essex. Taking him down. Okay. Very good. I like that. Legion Commander. I know Legion Commander builds are super hot right now. Um, I'm actually not a fan of them, but uh, they are good. I, You know what? In my head, like, because of the new patch and everything's been changed, like, I'm going into this game, like, I've been doing a ton of games where I'm just kind of, like, experimenting with new builds, trying to figure out what works, what doesn't. I've been playing tons like that. Uh, ooh, Blink Dagger's interesting because I can blink the Lone Druid. Not really worth it because what we really want to do is we want Maelstrom here. We're going to put Maelstrom on who we want it on. It's not that good on Sven. It really isn't. Do we just give it to Necrophos so we poke? So his attack speed's a little faster. Sven's attack speed's pretty low. Oh, look at Dragon Knight. And Treant. Two units we were talking about. We start together. Hmm. We will win. Allow me to think. Because now we got this healer alliance going. And I kind of like it. Treant would benefit from the Healing Alliance. He would benefit the entire front line. By the way, just note that Necrophos is actually doing some work with the, uh, the Maelstrom there. Come on, let's get that dub. It's finishing the streak, guys. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Things are going well this game. We'll, we'll push to level 8. We still don't have Viper, right? We have to activate Dragonite, which is kind of... I mean, because we're running healing and knights and stuff like that, even with just the uh, the fire breath, um, just the damage reduction does help. But, like, let's be serious. Dragon Knight is all about his transformative form, right? Sven. Two-star Sven. I will not disappoint you. We're running the widest bench ever. But look, the, here's the problem, right? We got two-star him. We got two-star him. We have to two-star him, two-star him. Like, we need to run this bench. What's Darkness doing right now? 
So he's got a Dragon Knight. So he's running straight up Troll. So I gave him a lot of opportunity to get back in this. Oh, he's got Necrophos too. Is he just copying me? Is he straight up copying me? Okay, here we go. 1v1. Darkness and Octavarium. Who is actually making the best Knight build right now? That Taunt Buddy's awesome. Here we go. Sven down. That's a little unfortunate. Uh oh, he's gonna get me, isn't he? Hey, where's my golem? There we go. Why was my golem so late? So late to the party. One more cast, Abba. One more cast. No, you gotta be kidding me. He's had some. He had some crazy RNG with how that golem was cast. Unbelievable. All right. Well, he got the win. I took six damage. It is hot, man. And he's on a three game win streak there. Okay. So he beat me, so he's got a bit of an edge on me, but I'm close to leveling up here. And I'm very close to uh, Dragon Knight. And here's a Viper. Time to shore things up. They will have no Viper goes in. I had a good feeling earlier. Okay. This time I, really I gotta overflow the board in a second. Otherwise, I'm selling off Treant. After this fight, I'm over. I'm over uh, filling the board. We'll see what we can do here. This guy's level eight as well. Pretty solid fight here. Necrophos leading in damage. What is happening? How much healing did he have? I just skipped it. So two grand in healing, three grand in damage. We they will trample our enemies. I made such a big deal about overflowing the board and I barely needed it because I just two-starred everything. I think I maintained the economy, honestly. So close to two-starring here, but um, let me see here. 31 kills on, on Chaos Knight. Let's put him in a safe spot. Let's put him here. How's our Dragon Knight doing? Zero kills for Dragon Knight. Okay. Chaos Knight is carrying us right now. That tree ends down. Yeah, this guy. I don't think this guy's going to put up much of a fight against us right now, honestly. That early Enchantress cast helps so much, too. Yeah, we're absolutely trucking this guy. It's going to be like 20 damage on him. This is a ton of damage. 21 damage. Wow. Hi, yo. To get Io on. No, can't. Can't do it. I can't do it, guys. I can't do Io as well. Not yet. It doesn't make sense. We need to. Maybe we don't run. We don't run Troll Warlord. Not Troll Warlord. Tro uh, Bat Rider. Sorry. Omni Knight Two Star. My strength is yours. Okay. Because that's a three star now. I don't like it. I don't like taking my boy, my boy uh, Lone Druid out, but I think that this guy is way too valuable. Okay. He's got what? The amount of healing he's going to do on our front line. Oh, this this guy and his positioning is going to cause a bit of a problem. Because our. Oh, no. Okay, that stays pretty good. Oh, he's silenced. Oh, it's a good cast from uh, Keeper of the Light there. Ooh. Anasix, no! Oh my gosh, we didn't get the uh, the alt on Anasix. We're gonna lose. Sad face. It's okay. That guy had a perfect cast from Keeper. We also did not get our cast from Anasix. Now I'm sad I took out Io because maybe I take out Dragonite and Viper. There's still one star. Add these guys back in. If I was back in the shop, I might just do that. I might just do that because they'll be forced to two star. Hmm, considering we just lost to those mages, I think we go Pipe of Insight here. 
All right, I guess we're giving it to him. We switch. There's Troll Warlord and Necrophos. Soon, White Spire will be yours. I will fight your war. I have stronger. Abaddon as well. My is All right. Equal. If we can three star our Chaos Knight, that's kind of our goal right now. The amount of healing that we're going to get from him is uh, is valuable. The Leech Seed is going to heal our front line. That is, we, that is what we want. It's going to benefit our Chaos Knight. How much damage is he doing right now? So, plus, uh, quite a bit there. Ooh, this guy might take us! Oh, Shadow Fiend doing work too. Alright, so people are starting to catch up to us a bit. It's okay, because this guy's also running a pretty decent economy right now. Uh, Darkness needs to lose. We need to get access to his uh, his guys. We need him get, to get knocked out. Medusa, no, it does not work. Two stars, Fen, not in. We were so close. One star dragon, look at this. One star dragon and one star viper, two star Sven and the, the lone druids on the floor here. I think I pushed to nine. So this is darkness again. He beat us last time. He should beat us again because I don't feel like I have proportionally improved my comp yet. We have the healing, which is beneficial. Chaos Knight's gonna go down. One more cast, there we go, nice little stun there. The healing's keeping us up. Like, our Chaos Knight is still up, and that's miraculous, to be honest with you. So this is a long fight. I don't wanna do it! I don't want to sell off Lone Druid. I have to. I have to sell off Lone Druid, guys. He just... I love Lone Druid, but in this build, it makes too much sense. Okay, I need to, I need to do damage to this guy. This better not be a draw. Okay, good. So close to... I, I need him knocked out. I need access to his, uh, his units there, so... Alright, so we need a three-star Chaos Knight. We need two-star Viper, Necrophos... Ah, faceless bat rider. Nope. Let's roll here. There's the I just sold off my druids One more roll here not what we need Do we go to nine No, we wait we wait This is the comp we want so we just need to minimize the amount of damage we take here. I don't want to blow through my economy yet. It's not worth it. We're still leading. I can push to 9. That's where I'll stay. But look at the healing he's getting. That was very good. Curiously, what's the healing? Look at that. See, see Treant Protector. That's why I wanted Treant. Even at 2 stars. Look at the amount of healing we're getting. That's key because he's going to heal one cell around him, right? Also, we're getting the benefit of uh, the Anesix healing. We're getting the benefit of uh, Enchantress. So Darkness has been eliminated. That's kind of hot. Because now we're going to be... So now what we do is we push the Knight and then we start rerolling. Now we have access to the Chaos Knights, the Dragon Knights, and the Necrophos. So those are going to be back in the shop. That's kind of what, really what we wanted. There's the ABBA. I'm going to pass on... No, I'm not going to pass on Treant yet. Yeah, let's get there. Let's get there. Sven on. 14 kills. These two need to be together. Like this. We can still come back from the okay. last round. 
Still one star Dragonite, still one star Viper. We're really hunting for uh, ABBA and for uh, Chaos Knight, so I might actually sell... I can't sell these two off, I can sell these two off. Let's see how we do here. This is great, because we find out on this side here if we're capable of beating both squads. It looks like we can beat this guy, because our sustained healing is outpacing him. He's going to snipe someone! Oh, he hit ABBA, but it, didn't, it wasn't enough to take him down. His gyrocopter's doing damage too, but it's not going to outpace our healing. Yes, we got him. How are we doing here? I wasn't paying attention. Do we beat him? Cool. Awesome. The spectating stuff just works wonderf wonderfully. What happened here? He took damage, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, there's Viper. So we reroll again. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Unbelievable. Had to make a call. Also, we have had a two-star troll warlord, I think. Now we find out if we get to beat this guy or not. Good positioning. Oh, he's silenced! Abba went on down really fast because of that silence. Oh, he's silenced again! Treant doesn't even get his cast off. That's devastating. Unbelievable. So, he's going crazy. Sven's going nuts here, which is good. Oh, we're actually going to beat him. Okay, we beat him, but that was close. And we beat this guy before. Alright, guys, we're in good shape here. Are we? Did he beat us? Oh, this spectating thing is just... Maybe I'm just confused, but I, I feel like there's something wrong with it. Moon shard. Okay, we got this. 43 kills, 14... You know what? Actually, put uh, put this on Omni Knight, maybe. Yeah, move from Abbot Omni Knight. Move this to him. Okay, we got a roll. Another Abba. Okay, we're close. Sven. It's not okay. One more roll because I, I want to pull him. Makes me sad. Could have done one more and then sold off our Dragonite, but getting Dragonite to two stars is too valuable. I'm against this guy again. So it's oh, it's the targeting buddy that's silencing. Delta Slam was really well done there. This guy, like, he can beat us 100 percent Looks like he's going to here. So he got knocked out third place. So okay, this is beneficial because I think this is the guy we're having a problem with. He's gonna hit us for 15 damage, but now we gotta worry about this guy. But now we're gonna set up. This guy was really tricky because that targeting buddy was really messing up our guys. Let's get this guy in here. Okay, hold on. Let's pick our units here. Breaks my heart. Don't want them. Don't want them. Viper's Fen. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. No, it has to be like this. Incoming. Well, that's okay. Butterfly on the Medusa. So Medusa's dangerous. We're going to get a lot of healing here. Oh, the petrifica uh, petrification is going to do some work too. Okay, Sniper was not able to take down our unit, but this guy's in pretty good shape. That Medusa is wrecking us. What's the damage on Medusa there? Dro and Medusa are going absolutely insane right now. Wow. Well, Alright, this guy might have us here. That was a very, very convincing win. We need some good RNG pulls here. We're sitting on multiple, like, we have not had uh, Dragon Knight pulled yet. Um, we've not had a chance to... Yeah, he's leveling up still. Yeah, look at this. RNG simply does not want us to win. Can I afford one more loss? That's the question. Who did he upgrade? Oh, we can't. There's really no other... He's blocking there too. 
There's really nothing we can do. So this is a corner comp where knights, we can't really infiltrate the corner comp. We have one star units all over the place. Dragonite, Necrophos. Okay, hold on. So Pudge is really holding that front line. Come on, let's see it. Let's see it. Take those guys down there, Squishy. Take Medusa. Okay, now we're kind of... Okay, now Sven's doing work. It's not going to be enough, though. But it's going to give us another chance to uh, to roll here. Well played. All right. I just hit the wrong button. I don't know who I sold. I sold my Chaos Knight, didn't I? <laughs> oh no, I sold my Chaos Knight. I hit the wrong button. I totally hit the wrong button and sold my Chaos Knight. I'm I'm fighting I'm fighting back tears, I really am. Legitimately fighting off tears. Oh my gosh, I was gonna lose anyway, this guy's got us, but I just sold off my Chaos Knight. I meant to re-roll, but I had my hand on the E button, not the R. Well, that was an adventure, wasn't it? Well, it, I know there's this ongoing theme of me absolutely throwing away games. I think I did it today. I think I did it today. Nah, he had us anyway. We weren't going to beat him, unfortunately. Uh, we just didn't have what it took to uh, to beat him. But look at this. We got to second place. No three-star units. We had multiple one-star units on the board. We are trying to be as reactive as we could uh, with the... Uh, you know, with what RNG was giving us, but we, we just had the worst possible RNG ever. Thank you so much for watching, and a special thank you to all my subscribers. Take care, everyone, and have yourselves an awesome day.